Hey, hey there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, you'll find out a little bit more about uh, support and resistance and why are they one of the most important ingredients to your trading. So stay tuned. Alrighty. So I'm sure you heard it many times. Price is approaching to support. We can expect some kind of a bounce, some kind of market reaction on this support or we might expect a breach of this support and maybe the price will find another support a little bit down. Or probably you heard this version. Okay, we are we are approaching to this resistance or I think that we should set our targets to the next market structure where we find a, a huge or a strong resistance or a strong support, whatever it is. But what is support and what is resistance and how you can impl implement them in your trading? So basically, uh, many people are focusing on, you know, a bunch of indicators like stochastics, RSI, Fibonacci levels, Bollinger Bands, etc. But if you were to ask me, uh, what is one single most important thing in the market? What would you focus on if you, if everybody remove uh, all every other uh, indicator? I would say it would be pure price action. That's why I'm trading naked charts plus a support and resistance or a market structure because in my entire trading philosophy is based on the you know market structure and support and resistance. So and in essence, those two are very simple. You know, they, they, they are the levels within the markets that the market is actually respecting. And why the market is respecting them? Because, look, market is just the price are moving because market participants are making some kind of reactions. OK, and because a lot of people know about the principles of support and resistance and a lot of people tend to look at them pretty similar. Uh, that's why market respects them because if you draw a line on the chart like I'm gonna draw it right here just just look at this okay so look at this cross cross here here in front of my my chart on the left side right there where my mouse says uh, this line is actually respecting once then if you take a look here on the right side what, what that's like 14 uh, 9th of November and here is in May 2018, so five, six months after this same price level is being respected. OK, so that's why, because people saw this here, saw that this is some kind of a market structure that people that price had made a stall here and they're expecting their price will make some kind of reaction here. And because they are expecting this market actually react. So it's very simple. However, uh, we have a support which is a price level where market approaches from a uh, top side. OK, so if we draw a line here, I'm going to draw a horizontal line like this. Uh, if we are coming, if the price approaches to this price level from above that price level, then we are calling this level a support. However, if the market is about to approach a price level, which is above the price where we are uh, trading right now, then that price level is called resistance. OK, so let me give you an example. Uh, there we go. So we have a same price level right there. OK, yes. let's say that we are tr trading here. OK, and we are trading up, 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 slowly moving up. Market is moving. We are approaching to a resistance level because we are expecting some kind of a re resistance here that we won't be able to breach through that price level. Let's see what happens because we are trading, trading up and we got that resistance. You see it? We got that spike through, but the sellers came in and they resisted. They didn't want to breach of that level and we are started moving down. Now, if we were to come down, 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 uh, we have a support level here, resistance here, support level here, resistance here. Basically, uh, support and resistance are nothing less, not nothing more than the different price levels within the market that are being respected uh, many times over. OK, but the important principle that you got to remember is that after the price breaches a support level, it tends to create 
a resistance level. So if the price breaches a resistance level and retests, retests that level, that level becomes a support level. Let me show you what, it, what I mean by that because it could be very confusing at the beginning. Okay, so let's let's stick to this price level here because we, we saw the market. We know it's going to be breached eventually. So this is actually our resistance level right now because we are approaching to that level from the from the downside. Okay, and we breached it. Okay, now if the price comes back, retests that level and respects it, we actually created. Uh, support level because the price is above the price level where, uh, which we breached so now if it respects it it actually support so let's see okay it tends to go back back up 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 let's see what happens when it comes down to to the upper so we are at that around that price okay support and resistance levels are not just lines in the markets it's just it's a it's a zone, okay? So as, as for example, if you see this, this is a zone because market kind of respected it here. We got some kind of reaction. Then it came from the top side. We got some kind of a reaction. Now we're gonna see what's the market gonna do. But we can also put a, a line here and a line here, you see, and a line here. You see, all of this are zones because market traded here, went down, bounced back up, went down, bounced back up, breached it, bounced back down, respected the previous resistance. Do you see this? This was resistance, uh, bounced back up, down, then up, then down. Then we breached through this price level of resistance. And then we came down, respected it and went back up, then came down and went back up. You see how market, when it breaches, it retests the level and creates support. Okay. So, and we got the reaction off of our first previous uh, resistance. We got its, its support right now and we got the reaction. You see, that's basically a principle of support and resistance. And as you can see how market is respecting those principles, that's why I'm saying the only thing that I would leave myself with in terms of indicator would be, you know, that support and resistance, even if it's not in, that's basically not an indicator. The only thing that you have to do is draw a single straight line. Plus support and resistance levels can also be, this is so-called horizontal, but it, they can also be a so-called vertical or trend line. Look, look at this. Mark, look, came here, went up, came to the trend line, went up came to the trend line, went up, came to the trend line, went up, came to the trend line, went up. You see? So that's so-called support. The, well, well, let's draw a vertical resistance. See this? A beautiful channel. And again, it's not exact science. It's more of an art because it's not like you, you will always be able to connect two dots and you have a perfect channel now in the breach. No, you have to look at uh, overall because sometimes the channels will be ugly, you know, and it, it, it tends to be sometimes complicated because markets are not moving in a, uh, very nice. Always look at this channel, you see, vertical, so vertical resistance, vertical support, and this is how the actual vertical resistance comes into play with a horizontal support and resistance. That's the whole principle. You got to learn it. Again, I'll repeat. When the price action breaches through resistance, comes back and retests it, then we have a support. When we breach through the support, come back and, re and retest it, then we have successfully created the resistance. Not we, actually, the mar yeah, we, market participants, but actually the price action. I hope that this whole thing about support and resistance kind of clicks with you because it's not that complicated. You just have to, you know, find these market structures, market reactions, and start drawing those lines to test how do you see your market levels and wh what are the important market levels for you. For example, for my coaches and for myself, uh, what I do is I'm going to remove all drawing tools. And when I want to see, is it a strong support and st strong resistance? 
I draw a line for this level right here and then I see did the market respect it at least three times if it did then I say okay this is the strong uh, resistance or strong support uh, there is a high chance that the market will react on this level again and then I'm looking for another uh, signals like an entry signal, maybe a divergence on RSI, etc. So if you if we take a look at this random choosing level, because I saw some kind of reaction here, and then we come to this level here. Market came back down to this level, respected it, came back up, respected it again, and actually gave us a double double bottom. Take a look at the RSI. Price action got, went over, sold here, came a little bit back up. It retested this again and created a higher high but on the RSI and came to the same level which means that we have a high chance of reversing and going back up uh, so let me see this is basically same level but here we have a re sorry we have uh, RSI a lower low and higher low so I would probably, if I were to trade this, if I backtested it, I would put my orders here and I would trade it until the retest of these highs and looks like I would probably have a winner. But you know, this is like a, just the example or might be a loser, it's not important. This is the example of support and resistance and how we breached through, this, through the resistance, came back, retested that level and came back down and uh, respected that level again. Hope it makes sense for you. Hope it makes it clear. If not, please leave a comment below. Ask any questions whatsoever in regards to trading. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also, one more thing. If you like the content, click that like button, click that subscribe button and smash that bell button. Again, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and talk to you soon. Bye bye.